Hey, 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 what's up guys? Pat Will here, and I'm bringing you guys a full-fledged camera tutorial of all the stuff that you can possibly do in Battlefield 3 currently. But before I get started, I want to say thank you to all you guys who definitely watched the Siege and tweeted it out and tried to promote it and shared it with your friends. And right now, it's at 84k and it's awesome. <laughs> but other than that, let's get started. Okay, so the first glitch I want to show you guys is the... M26 Max under barrel glitch. Yes, this used to be a an exploit that was terrible, but that time has passed. Now I use it for the camera glitch. Basically grab any medic weapon. Usually I grab the G3 because that's how I learned to use it. And you're going to attach the under barrel and the M26 mask dart or frag, whichever one you, pre you prefer. And what you're going to do is keep your finger on the three and the two button. Okay, well, whichever one is your mask button and or your primary weapon button. And what you're going to do is shoot off the mask and instantly click onto your primary weapon button. And what it does, it goes quickly to the first weapon button and it glitches the gun from the screen. And it also moves the camera in a different angle, but I'll get to that later. So again, it's click the mask button. You shoot and instantly press to the primary glitch button. I'll do this several times for you guys to definitely get it. Okay, some of the camera perks to this G3 glitch, which I call it, are the camera height and camera speed and the zoom modes. Now, you're like, what? But yes, it, it's there. So basically how this works is whatever scope attachment you have attached to your primary weapon is the amount of magnification you have on the gun. So if you have a 3.4 times scope, it'll zoom in 3.4 times if you right click. Also, if you have a 7 times, 4 times, and or hollow scope, it'll still zoom in 1 time. Now, when you zoom in in Battlefield, you walk slower because you're aimed down sight. It does the same thing in this. So if you're aiming down sight and you're moving your body around to transition to move around the camera in a certain scene, it'll also slow down the camera, giving you a more precise shot. Another example of some of the perks is, like I said, the camera speed. Now, what happens when you do this glitch is that the camera actually goes above your character's head in game. So imagine if you're the medic, Imagine the camera is sitting on top of his head by about a foot. That's where the camera is actually positioned. Now, whatever happens to your body, you don't see it. When you look down, you just see your chest. But whatever happens to when you prone, crouch, run, walk, the camera speed is changed due to that factor. So if I'm looking straight forward and I'm looking at a certain character and I press control and I'm moving left and right, the camera speed will be adjusted to my crouch movements looking left and right. If I prone, it moves at a prone speed. If I stand up, it moves at a standing speed. So I can get different speeds depending on the camera angle that I need. The secondary glitch I want to show you is the support glitch. Yes, the support has a glitch of its own too. Looks like Recon and Engineer left out of the loop. Basically how this works is you can either use a motor or an ammo pack. Two different ideas, two different ways, whatever is easiest for you. The first way is the mortar. You can put down a mortar in a certain location and hop into it. And the way to do the glitch is prior to getting out of your mortar, you hold down your knife and key. For me, that's F. And as I'm holding F, I press E. While I'm still holding the F key, that allows me to jump out of the vehicle and my gun disappears from screen, also enabling the camera glitch. Another way to do that is to use the, the ammo pack at the corner of the wall glitch. With that, you grab an ammo pack, keep it in your hand, don't toss it, hold it in your hand, run towards a right angle corner of the wall, okay? There's some weird little places to do this too, but this is the best place that I've found that it works. Run into the corner of the wall, and before you get to the wall, you toss it at the wall so that you land into the corner of the wall, okay? And as you land into the corner of the wall, your arms will not come back up, causing the glitch also. eye-level camera work of a certain character, this is the best glitch because the camera is not placed on top of your soldier's head. It is maintained in the same place. It's basically the same character with no weapons in his arm. But you can still shoot. You can still throw grammo. You can throw grenades. You can still do anything. Um, another perk to this is also the fact that the camera is not on top of your soldier's head. You can also go prone crouch, which allows you to actually get on the floor or get like a mid-level height camera view. And 
well, that's basically the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll definitely post more of these if you guys like and love this. And let me know. Leave me some comments below. See ya. If you want to know how we got to those crazy places on Scrap Metal, check out my boy Kiwi Doggy. Definitely check out his link below. I'll leave it in the description and sub him. You'll definitely get some places that you never knew of.